Welcome back everyone, this is Cyber Neuro Druid playing the scenario Broken Heart, which is the very final scenario of the campaign Invasion from the Unknown. This is my second attempt at this scenario, and let's see how it goes. Got a bit unlucky last time, lost a hero. Um, don't have anyone much to lose apart from heroes at this point, so um, yeah, let's see how we get on. Okay, so my mission now is to escape. Gallus is the fastest, Gallus can go as a scout. There is a Zephyr up here. So Gallus, you just push forward. Everyone else, just want to keep Malkeshar back because he's going to be weak to Zephyr fights. Ledinor, you can go forward. And then Malkeshar, as long as you don't stand there, you won't get Zephyr'd. Well, you can get Zephyr'd, I don't care about that. All right. Okay, so the Zephyr's tactic is to come out and get attacked by Gallus. The Zephyr is dead, and we can proceed. I just need to know what other enemies are up here. Um, Forest Spirit's the fastest now, so she can go scout a little bit. And we see another Zephyr, and we see a drone, and then we see a checkpoint. You can go there without getting attacked by the Zephyr. That's good. You go up there and heal Galas. Do I want to aggro the Zephyr with Legionor? Yeah, why not? Oh well, the Zephyr didn't in fact aggro, which is interesting. Okay, so now... I proceed. Could go out and attack the drone with Lethrade. Don't see any great loss in doing so, she won't die. She's the only non-hero unit I've got left, amazingly. She's totally the campaign MVP. Um, so let's go ahead. What, the only thing I absolutely 100% don't want to happen is for the drone to poison um, Alinea, because Alinea is too good for that. So we'll move more slowly forward. And if the, the Zephyr wants to come out and attack Malkeshar, then you know what? That's fine. Oh, there's another Zephyr over there. Okay. I didn't notice that when I was playing this before. I think everyone went up the northern way. All right, Malkishar's going to get double Zephyr. He might need some healing soon. Or maybe they'll go for Ledinor instead. Let's see. Well, this is the most pointless thing that you could have done by far. Because she's just going to level up. Right, and this one isn't even aggroed. Right, you come round. As soon as I hit the checkpoint, everyone will get teleported away, so there's not any point killing these guys. I don't think so, anyway. Ah! It's troubling that I'm actually considering the possibility of returning to Inferno to escape this insanity. Nonsense. We just must make haste and get to the surface. There ought to be an exit through the hive itself. May I ask if anyone else heard that creature? What creature? Where? On the way to this section, in the snow-covered area. It may have been just my imagination, but I believe I heard somebody scream furiously from above. All right, we can see some more stuff. We got some drones. Um, either Gallas or um, or Alinea can go in and attack that drone straight away if they want to. Gallas will get poisoned if he does so, um, but maybe that's worth it. Malkeshar also looking not the healthiest. 
And let's see what else we can see. All right, so we've got a bowman over here. And yeah, let's just go in. And now we can see that there's an assault drone up there. There might be other drones back here as well. All right, I'm just a little poisoned. It's still good, it's still good. Drone can't reach me. Come up here with Malkesha. Really? Five misses? Alright, so I know that this guy is going to attack me. I know that there is another drone waiting in the wings to attack me. I know that these guys are a bit confused. They're not really sure what they want to do. So I need to send some people forward to aggro the drones and I need to kill this guy. And this guy Gallus is a good match for. Just step to the side. Right, Gallus is uh, clearly a little bit distraught by having lost so many units and saved scum so much in the previous scenario. So uh, he doesn't want to hit very much at the moment. Use Ledinor. Much better. Thank you, Ledinor. Even though you're starting to say some ominous things, which uh, may or may not be foreshadowing for something that's about to happen. You come round here, and then you'll aggro any drones who are in the vicinity. And you go behind her. And Malkesha can just come round here. And now we'll see what happens. This is no place for an elder like me. I feel ill. Perhaps it would be best for you if... No. I mean, I apologize for that, my lord, but I must beg of you to keep going. I don't want to lose anyone else after all we have been through. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, we got more drones. We've got Aaron the Chaos Invoker. Um, these guys haven't died yet. I think Galas, I think Ledinor can take out this one. Or would it be more useful to do it with someone else? Maybe Galas would just get the experience. I'd rather he didn't get poisoned though, not just yet. Okay, let's leave this to Ledinor. My units have um, definitely acquired a, a case of the um, let's miss every 10 seconds. Now you... Okay, 20 fire damage almost. and Malkeshar should be able to finish the job. Without taking too much, too many hits himself. And now this drone is coming out, and I think that hopefully should be it for now. So I'm just going to move Ilinia here. And I'm not going to advance any further just yet. Or maybe... Hmm, could come out with the drone. No. no I'm going to stay here. Or here see a bit more. Ah! <coughs> Is something the matter, old elf? It's only getting worse. It feels as if something wanted to burst out of my head. I pray to the Lords of Light that I may survive this ordeal. 
All right, so first things first, Malka Shah just got owned. Um, let's get him to a doctor. And uh, now we need to wipe out this sentry drone, which I can do quite easily with a forest spirit. And then I think... I am now going to wait here with my remaining units. Um, maybe dodge forward one with... Galas, do a little bit of scouting with Galas. Yep, all we can see for the moment is that there are these invokers over here. And I'm going to bring you back. Okay, so everyone is healed up. As you can tell, I'm waiting for something nasty to happen. And it's sure as hell going to happen. First things first, Galas can try and kill this guy. I'm going to get drones. The drones are going to respawn soon, so I can't hang around for too long. And there is a ray blade down there. Alright. No. You are dead. I can come down here and... Someone who can take the damage should come down here and aggro you. I can't continue. Galas, please go on without me. I refuse, my lord. I... Ah! Galas, please. I... I remember that voice now. Her voice. She is... Eh. Uh, yeah. I thought it was only a figure of speech. What are you? What did you... What did you do to Lord Led... You may have escaped to Erdia, but I will not allow you to march away without due punishment for murdering my precious, most loyal vassal. Your vassal? Are you... No, it can't be. Galas, I fear that no matter what we try, we may never get Lydin or back. Uriah must have infected his body in some way before we found him. This is... Okay, so we've now got a boss fight on our hands, and in the boss fight we've got there's two Chaos sh Shadow Minions here. Um, they're nasty because they've got backstab attacks, um, my, but my priority is to take down Ledin or the Shadow Courier before I do anything else. These guys seem to be uh, wussing out a bit given the circumstances, that's fine. So the trick will be to move around and just go for it, I think. Alright, so now the Shadow Courier Ledinor is slowed, um, and we've got Elinia and Malkashar still to strike. Even though this guy is slowed, he's still an absolute beast. Um, but I think it still makes the most sense for Malkeshar to do the attacking. This is only the beginning, Lady of Light. The beginning of your downfall. Everything and everyone you hold dear shall perish in time. Take your words to the grave, spawn of your ire. He said he remembered her. Uriah, she must have done this to him. It's the only explanation. The only logical explanation. We really ought to make haste and get out of this dreadful place, lest we find out the exact method Uriah uses to possess people like this. Okay, well the Shadow Minions are still alive. That's not great. Um, they could still kill one of my heroes with some lucky backstabbing attacks. You guys have slowed down. Oh good, they're going to be dumbasses in that gala. Alright. 
right. So I clearly have to go through one of these locked gates. Galas is badly wounded, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. You two could go down here and, uh, in fact, you could attack the drone, which might be a very nice move. So I will use Malkeshar to take down this one. And then Galas, you go and melee attack this guy. Get punched in the face, fine. It wasn't super effective, as I would say in Pokemon. Alright, down goes the remaining Shadow Minion. Kill for Galas. Okay, there's the checkpoint, that's good to know. You go and get health. Is there anything behind here? <laughs> Lol, some drones. Okay. Um, I can just ignore them and move on to the checkpoint. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't the kind of checkpoint that just clears. Um, I didn't. It doesn't teleport you like the other one does. Oh well. Well, you're best to go in here and deal with this guy. Anyway, so you do that gradually. Um, you can move out one so you can get ranged attacked by this guy. And that means that the two of you. Oh, you can't reach. Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh well. You guys can get health. These guys, I mean, I don't know <laughs> who they're trying to stop at this point. Um, okay, well, there is a drone back there. Still. Alright, you're useless. You get melee attacked. Ah, uh, come on, Lethraday. You were doing so well earlier in this campaign. Um, you... Not sure what to do on this flank. They'll all come out and attack Gallus if I don't do anything, which is not ideal. Alright. Put Malkeshar here. He could take a few hefty hits, but not as many as he used to be able to, especially with these drones and their energy shock attacks. So let's hope for a non-fatal encounter. This is fine, says the dog in the flaming house. Okay, I was hoping that would take him up on health rather than down on health, but that didn't work. Um, maybe it will work for Galas. 
Yeah, alright, so overall I came out of that encounter better off. I might as well use one of these healing glyphs before I leave the area. Um, probably with Elenia because she doesn't have any other way of healing. But then it's tempting also to, yeah, it's tempting to use one with Lethrone because she's more, much more badly wounded. So I'll do that. Um, if she does it, no, you won't get aggroed, you're too slow. Ha ha. Yeah, you're both too slow and useless. Uh, I don't need to go down that way unless I do. And maybe I do, but at the moment it looks like I don't. Um, Alright, we've got a dog. Dog can fight Galas. Dog shouldn't be allowed to fight anyone else. We've got a river. We've got two dogs. Um, need to be a little bit careful there. Ten turns. Guys are such bum holes. Well, it's dead now. Enemies on all sides. Some of them are doggable. Some dogs are enemy. Uh, okay, so Elinia and Malkesha can't reach the dogs. Galas can. Galas shouldn't have any problem doing this. That's in on the light, interestingly. Um, you'll come and attack because you're a bastard, so... I can't put... I can't quite get the positioning that I would like to be able to have. Galas is very close to a level. He won't get it by fighting. Oh, he will get it by fighting dogs. Well, that's cool. If this one wants to come and try it on, should be my guest. Rayblade, unfortunately, is annoying and annoying and powerful in melee. But I'm going to heal up Elinia next turn anyway. So I might as well just allow the Rayblade to attack her if it wants to. Dog can't get in. Malkesha can't get healing, but so I can just leave him where he is and he'll get two. Okay, I mean that, that I wasn't expecting, but that's also fine. Um, Galas decides to... the Rayblade goes for Galas. Um, well then... Keshar can't reach. Alinea can only reach the dog and this guy. What can you reach? You can reach all the way down here. All right. reaches a level. He's got 91 hit points now. How many after maximum level advancements is that for a champion? He can get attacked by this sword dude. And Malkeshar can come down here and uh, let himself get attacked by the dog if he wants. I don't think these, these, these units aren't too fast about actually attacking. Alright, let's roll it. No one attacks me, good. out a bit. You can't see anything. Looks like up here is the way to go. Oh, 
There's an invoker back there, that's fine. The smart money would be on there also being some drones back here. Got to keep an eye on the time. Kashar heads north. Poor show, poor show from Lathrid, eh? Um, interestingly, not much in the way of, um, not much in the way of, of opposition here yet. I guess they're giving me a place where I can heal up my troops. Valinia's still down on a little bit of health. Turns, I've got six left. You're dead. And a little bit of a waste, but otherwise there's no way of healing her, so something. Oh! We got drones, people! you can come and attack the Lady Alinea, which is irritating. I'm going to step you back, actually, because I really don't want that to happen, because you could get poisoned. So you'll just miss out on your healing for this turn. Two of you! Some rather poor performance again there from my units. Um, running very short on turns here. Though it's not too easy to see how I could have done this any differently. Could have been luckier, I guess. <laughs> There's always that. Now, please don't poison Alinea. If you do, I guess she gets the healing. Nope. All right, let's scout. Can we see? Yeah. Okay. There's the checkpoint. Good. Okay, Alinea is wounded again, but only a little bit. If we are moving on from this area anyway, and it looks like we are, I can get her to the healing point. Okay, we've got a place where we can hire some... Oh, oh, oh! There they are! The heathens! The Iron Council wants their heads! Get to it! Not again! Your Emperor has fallen, and this fortress is crumbling with him. Flee and get out of our way, or we will have to destroy you. So I need to get to this checkpoint within the next two turns, and I also need to not get killed by a bunch of irritating... Interestingly, this is, this is a, a cool throwback to uh, one of the scenarios in the campaign Under the Burning Suns. Um, we have Darius and Durstrag. Now, Darius and Durstrag, um, 
they're actually units who um, they're in that campaign. They have uh, they're, they're human. Actually, Death Strike is in a, in a in a an earlier scenario. They are they're humans in that in that campaign. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to plonk you. If, if you go there. Then you'll slow them all right down, and you only take 50% damage from, uh, from blade attacks. And it's light there, so I feel like this is a good place for you to be. Um, but let's just hope this purple unit can't recruit too many troops, because otherwise I really am up shit creek. Um, can anyone reach... No, no one can reach the checkpoint yet. Then maybe I should just let them out and then push through next turn. Yeah, you go there. Okay, there are drones. There are... yeah, you're useless. You're not so useful either. You can come in, but fine. And you guys, one of you can reach and get into combat with my forest spirit. Put Malkashar behind, ready to deal out some beatdowns. Same with Galas. Okay, the, um, they're going for the cowardly strategy, these uh, these undead. Um, so I think the best option is to use the shadow wave attack to take down the toughest one. There's lots of drones back here, gotta be careful. Ah, he's not dead, he's got two hit points left, interesting. Okay, and now Alinea. Alright, we've got through the checkpoint though, that's important. The drones have higher move speed and they can get round and attack other people who otherwise can't be attacked. Um, Gallus is going to get vulnerable if he goes here. I'm just going to put him there, but I'm not going to attack. Okay. some astonishingly jammy luck from these death barons here. I think they both just hit with all their attacks. Um, now you ought to be... Malkeshar ought to be able to deal with you, so I'm going to bring you around to deal with the drone. Good. Okay. You're still alive. What are you doing still alive? Don't really want to take 30 damage from you, but there you go, and now hopefully even though Gallas and Alinea are both extremely beaten up, I can pull through. Okay, any glyphs around, perchance? Glyphs would be handy. Nope, just drones. And this is the next checkpoint. Yeah, no, this is the point where it really, really would be useful to have another one of those beautiful glyphs, but uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, 
on the menu so we can lure this one drone out. Maybe there's another one back here. Um, but everyone else can get a good dose of healing in at least. Unless I get too badly attacked from behind. To say I am really glad I've got you around. Did did you just heal two health? Oh, maybe I maybe I mis misread that. don't really want to rush ahead at this point. I'm actually tempted. Yeah, you guys are just going to stay where you are for now and I'll lose a turn, but I need that sweet, sweet health. Okay, now you can run ahead. Or maybe Malkashar can run ahead. Keep moving! Warming shock styles everywhere. We did it. We are through to the epilogue. And that is that. In the end, the entire valley where once stood the mighty capital of the Chaos Empire disappeared in a matter of minutes. Even the biomechanical monsters, which we once regarded as invincible foes, perished amid the destruction that erased Argan's fortress from existence. Enemies, allies, for the Earth there were no colours or sides, only insignificant creatures caught in its clutches as it dragged everything down to the depths of hell. Once nothing but an unfathomably large crater was left, the darkness of the night gave way to the dawn of a new day, and Naya shone through the dispersing smoke and clouds to announce the day when the ruler of Inferno tasted her first defeat. Even though Alinea assured me that there was no way to restore Ledinor to his old self, much like Argan, I hoped that perhaps we could have managed to restrain him while we figured out a cure with her help. Alas, it would have proved impossible to keep him from delaying our escape. At least we put an end to his suffering soon enough, assuming there was anything of him left within that horrifying mutated mass of flesh. Uriah did this to him to show us, to remind us how powerless we mere mortals are against beings like her, especially now without the union of light and darkness. Maybe if I had not witnessed Elinia's resoluteness first, I would have bent and despaired like the goddess so wanted. But no, I would not give her that pleasure now, after so much. Only us three made it out of the fortress alive. We tried to locate the dwarfs, but enemy troops arrived to inspect the ruins of the heart before we could finish our search. The evidence we found suggested that our allies had to retreat for some reason, possibly while we were busy battling Elissa in the Dark Hive. We ran. We ran as far as we could, and then continued travelling west, towards the ocean. The next few weeks went by in a hazy flash of sand and mountains, while we struggled to pass unnoticed through hostile territory. Fortunately, they were probably too busy mourning their emperor's death, if they even have such a custom, to bother with hunting us down. The storm that drove us out of hiding is over now, but our journey has only just begun. Darker days are coming, and it will take our best effort to put an end to this war, now that Uriah has taken notice of our existence. 
Even now, I worry for the safety of my kin up in the far north. But as long as we stick together, I feel that we may yet have a chance against the evil force that threatens to take Erdia from us. I understand that you wish to travel with me, Malkesha. But what about you, Galas? What will become of the elves who followed you to the Northlands? I have served my people long enough, I would say. To be honest, once Lord Enodian and Lady Unaria became more involved, my presence in our councils became somewhat redundant. And without Anlinde to guide my decisions anymore... Regardless, I was appointed by Lord Ledinor. Now that my own appointed successors lead our people, and the Chaos Emperor is no more, I feel I have fulfilled my duty. So, for the first time in ages, I feel free and able to make my own choices again, without the weight of a whole civilization resting on my shoulders. So, I must ask you, would it be all right if I accompanied you on your next journey, Elenia? Because I suspect you are not planning on sitting here idly. If that is what you want. There is a place I would like to visit. That island Althurin mentioned, Zochthanol. I fear that the collapse of the Heart Fortress may have erased much information about the origins of Uriah and Yechnogok that could have helped us otherwise. However, the Quenoth Elves did establish their new home on that island after destroying Yechnogoth. It is possible that they may have found out more about the nature of our enemies since then. I want to meet Quetor Elves' law keepers and see what else they might know that could help us. That seems fair enough, but how are we going to get there? Ah, uh, we'll sail across the ocean, of course. Surely our northern friends won't mind if we borrow a ship or two. There is something unsettling about all this, though. Even though we set Argan free from his suffering, and the destruction of his capital severed the connection Erdia had with Inferno, the demons of Uriah continue to roam our world in large numbers just as before. Is she still able to influence our world? Are there other gateways to Inferno still intact elsewhere? And we never really saw the Chaos Warlord again. If she somehow survived... Then we'll have to deal with her again eventually. I know. And then there is that Mal Hecuba and the Iron Council. I don't suspect they will give up easily, and we are still in enemy territory. Between the ongoing war and the loss of their capital, my hope is that they will be too preoccupied struggling against the Alliance in the North to hunt us down. <sighs> I understand your concern, but there is hardly anything we can do with the scarce information we possess regarding Uriah and her followers right now. Let us return to the far North, then. I would like to pay a visit to our people as well. Ha! Ah. So you do miss being in a position of power, after all. No, no, it's nothing like that. I just want to speak to my comrades again. It has been far too long since I last saw their faces. And thus the group embarked upon a new quest. A quest not for blood, but for knowledge. Continued in after the storm. Now, you may, you may well see me playing this campaign next on Cyber Neuro Druid, and uh, I hope you will join me for that. It's another corker of a campaign, another few uh, rather predictable moments uh, on occasion, but still the absolute best narrative experience I think that Wesnoth has to offer. Um, I like the way that there are a lot of loose ends, uh, the enemy is defeated, but... The good guys are not exactly victorious. There is still the threat of Uriah. Um, there's the death of Ledinor. Um, <laughs> you go to all that trouble um, basically babysitting him through dozens of scenarios only to have him turn on you in the end. It's sort of a curse your sudden yet inevitable betrayal moment. Um, well, there we are. And um, yeah, only one of my veterans survived in the end. Lethrodae the Forest Fairy, who was an absolute beast. Um, props to her. Props to you for watching. Thank you very much for your attention. And um, maybe we shall see each other again. If you would like to be updated on future things that I'm up to, 
please like, comment and subscribe, uh, of which the subscribe part is crucial. All right, I'm going to leave it there. So, Cyber Neurodroid, over and out.